Art Service. This is Cody. Hey, Anthony, what can I do for you? Yeah, sure. I'd love to get your uh, new Eagle transmission all installed. I'm sorry, where are you calling from? New York. Yeah, sorry, Anthony. We're just a brick and mortar shop based out of San Luis Obispo, California. Unfortunately, I can't help you in person, but you know what? I'm in a good mood tonight. So why don't you go ahead and put your bike up to the phone and uh, I can walk you both through the installation procedure. So it looks like the old group is already pulled off this bike, so I'll walk you through the installation process of all of your new components. Let's start by installing the cassette. To start, clean and grease your free hub body. Install the cassette onto the free hub body and torque to 40 newton meters. Next, we'll install our cranks. Your crank installation for your new Eagle transmission group is the same as other SRAM cranks but make sure to account for the new 55 millimeter chain line. The dub spacers for our Epic Evo today are going to be seven and a half millimeters on the drive side and three millimeters on the non-drive side. Be sure to grease the spindle of your crank and loosen the preloader. Install your cranks into the bottom bracket and torque the main bolt to 54 newton meters. Tighten your preload ring and then tighten the pinch bolt. Do not over tighten. Next, we're going to be installing the shifter. Remove the small pull tabs to activate your shifter. Using your preferred shifter mount, install the shift pod in your preferred position and tighten all bolts. Do not exceed the printed torque spec. Next, we'll be installing the derailleur in the chain. Install your axis battery into your derailleur and pair it with your shifter. By pressing and holding the axis button on the derailleur until it starts blinking. Then press and hold the axis button on the shifter. Now that the two are paired, press the axis button on the rear derailleur again to end the pairing sequence. Before mounting your rear derailleur, make sure the setup key is oriented correctly. Today we will be in position B. Place your derailleur in the correct setup cog. Today we will be in the 21 2. This information can be found in the Axis app or on SRAM's website. Remove the existing UDH from your bike and clean the area prior to installing the new transmission derailleur. Make sure there is no dirt or grease inside your frame. Insert the bushing into the frame's innerless interface with the lift edge facing outwards. Do not use grease in the hangerless interface. Verify that the knurled ring that's on the inboard portion of the derailleur's full mount is rotated fully clockwise on its stopper. The stopper has to be between the ring's two horns. Grease the derailleur's mount bolt threads and the underside of the bolt's flange. Slide the derailleur's full mount over the bike's hangerless interface and bushing frame insert. Then install the derailleur mount bolt from the outside. Tighten the bolt using an 8mm Allen by turning it clockwise until it's snug. Then, loosen the mount bolt one full turn. Set the derailleur to its extended position by pushing the cage forward and locking it in place using the cage lock button. Next, we'll mount the rear wheel. Grease the rear axle prior to installation. Install the rear wheel according to your bike manufacturer's specifications and tighten the axle to snug. Then. Loosen the axle by one full turn. Next, we'll be installing our chain. Using the Axis app or SRAM's chain length chart, size your chain accordingly. Today, our chain will be 116 lengths. Chain ring size and chain stay length will determine our chain size. T-type chains come with 126 lengths. Count backwards along the chain to the number of lengths you need. Chain lengths are specified in even numbers and you need to cut the chain with an open end so the power link can be installed later. Place the correctly sized T-type chain with its flat section facing away from the center of the cassette and on the cassette setup cog, denoted by the red ring. Pull each end of the chain together beneath the bike's chain stay. Install the power lock with a flat portion oriented in the same direction as the chain. Run the chain through the derailleur and pull each end of the chain beneath the bike's chain stay. Double check that your T-type derailleur is in the correct setup mode and carefully push the derailleur cage forward to release the cage lock. Allow the derailleur to retract to the setup position. 
The setup position is on the derailleur cage where the two key lines meet. Rotate the cranks forward until the power lock is above the center of the chainstay. Apply pressure to the rear brake and push down on the pedals to lock the power lock in place. Before we continue, check the following. The rear axle and derailleur mount bolt must be loosened up from snug by one full turn. The chain is on the correct setup cog for your bike and is engaged correctly on the cassette and chainring. The power lock is closed. On full suspension bikes, the rear suspension must be uncompressed with no sag unless otherwise instructed on SRAM's website. Pull back on the lower portion of the derailleur's cage until the chain is tight. Continue to pull back while rotating the crank forward two rotations to confirm that the chain stays in the setup cog. While continuing to pull back on the derailleur cage to keep the chain taut, tighten the derailleur mount to 35 Newton meters with an eight millimeter Allen. If there's slack in the chain once you've tightened your derailleur, loosen it and perform this step again. Make sure the knurled ring mark aligns with the mark on the derailleur's full mount. If it doesn't align, loosen your rear wheel's axle and derailleur mount bolt and rotate it clockwise so it's touching the knurled ring stop. If you need to do this, repeat the above derailleur mount tightening steps. Tighten the wheel to manufacturer's specified torque. Release the derailleur cage from setup mode to ride mode by rotating it forwards, then carefully letting it return to its unlocked position. In a bike stand, turn your cranks, slowly shifting through each of the gears. To fine tune your gears, use either SRAM's Axis smartphone app or press the Axis button and upper or lower shift button simultaneously to micro adjust the derailleur inboard or outboard. Yeah, okay, Anthony, so sounds like your bike's all good to go. Installation went pretty good. Um, so yeah, in the future, I would probably just find a good local bike shop wherever you are to help you out with this kind of stuff, or just tune into our YouTube channel if you need more technical advice. Yeah, we've been closed here at the shop for about half an hour. Uh-huh. Yeah, great, you're welcome. Okay, whatever, bye.